Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And the timing is fluid, so it'll resonate whenever it resonates. Again, it may or may not even resonate with you. Okay, so let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Scorpio? Let's get a couple of cards for Scorpio. Maybe dealing with a younger man, Scorpio. Let's get another one. Time to set new goals. So you, it's time for you to set some new goals. Let's get one more. What do we have for Scorpio? One more card, please. Ace of, well, I'd say it's the Ace of Wands, actually a match, right? is a new desire, it's a sudden desire, it's a new flame, it's a new match, it's a new direction. And it's things are getting lit up, okay? So something is probably gonna get lit up. It does have to do with a younger man. So this younger man's probably gonna light things up. Somebody may get their, light their fire, you know? They may get a fire lit under their ass, I don't know. Anyhow, somebody may light your fire, you know? Whatever we do have here, we do have a young man um, we do have a match, we have on fire, we have <coughs> a new flame, a, a sudden desire, a spark, sparks flying, a phone call that changes everything. Oh, that one wants to come off. It just fell off the deck, unfaithful. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that is unfaithful. Definitely has to do with a younger man. So what do we have? What do we have for... I wanted to say Cancer. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Cancer. But we're dealing with a Scorpio. Okay. Actually, I gotta put this over here. Ooh, the star. The star is a card of protection. It's a card of healing. It's a card of hope. It's a card of uh, wish fulfillment, right? Guidance as well. So I feel like there's some sort of universal protection here for you. Maybe some divine guidance or divine protection from above. Um, this is a very beautiful healing energy. So this is like a uh, wish being granted in some way. So obviously there's some sort of wish fulfillment here i think it's in your future because i just stuck it right in the future never know where i'm gonna put the cards but it's a blessing okay it's a blessing so maybe there's a blessing in disguise after the tower falls because the tower comes before the star right before the star so i'm not sure if you've had some sort of major event in your life that has shaken up your foundation your home or a relationship that you were in you know a false sense of security maybe there's been a dismantling you were forced to start over from scratch you know this is a unexpected blessing unexpected help arriving with the star card after there's been some sort of upheaval or chaos in your life whether it has to do with your foundation your job or a relationship maybe even internally okay i do see a very positive change because the ace of wands or that that i consider that the ace of wands or it's the new spark it's a sudden desire it's a new drive setting new goals healing very 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 healing energy um some of you may be connecting you may have an instant connection with a younger man okay and if you are a man watching this you could be dealing with somebody that is connecting with a younger man i mean you just got to be honest um there could be a new sexual partner here uh so anyhow what do we have for scorpio it's very exciting whatever it is for that ace of wands oh first card out 
Queen of Cups reversed. So that may be your energy. It most probably is. Emotions, not able to master emotions, emotions all over the place. So I feel like you have been extremely emotional. You probably do need to master your emotions. I'm sure I'm going to get somebody that says no. The minute you say no, you're not mastering your emotions because you can't control it. That's like illusion. The Queen of Cups in reversed is you know, illusionary, you know. Some of you may be heartbroken. You may be heartbroken. You may be really, really in your feelings. You need to ground yourself. It is time to set new goals. The Queen of Cups in reverse, and that's a male or a female, okay, in this sense, is not seeing clearly. May it be in some sort of fantasy illusion, uh, emotions all over the place, needing to heal. Hangman reversed. Ace of Wands. Interesting. So we, I would say we have it twice. That's in your future. It's in your future position. So you have an exciting new beginning. This is starting from scratch. It's starting fresh. So you're going to be starting fresh. Breaking free from somebody that has been restricting you. You may have been sacrificing yourself needlessly. We get the hey man reverse, refusing to budge, refusing to let go, not able to master your emotions. I mean, the Queen of Cups reversed your energy. I know that we're going to get some people that are in denial that don't want to own up to it, you know, but whatever. I don't care about that. I'm not here to make friends. The hangman reversed. The hangman reverse is about, you know, becoming enlightened, waiting. I think you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, waiting for somebody to change, sacrificing yourself, refusing to let go, maybe because of ego. You know, when our pride gets hurt, you know, our, the rejection, the rejection, it's, it's, it's a shock to our pride. And the tower is a shock. And the tower comes before the star. So I don't know if your pride has been struck, you know. When we get rejected, it hurts. And it hurts our pride. The, how, how, how could I possibly be rejected? What did I do wrong? You know, what's wrong with me? Consider it a blessing in disguise because you have something more passionate, more fertile, uh, right around the corner, okay? You have something exciting, more aligned with you, okay? This is a, there's gonna be a sudden attraction with somebody, especially if you're single. If this has to do with anything but love, you are definitely going in a new direction because we ha I'd say we have that Ace of Wands twice, okay? That is a new direction. It is going down a new path. It is very exciting. But I feel like you're dealing, I feel like a lot of you are either dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I have Pisces twice, so it could be Pisces. I wanted to say Cancer, so I would say that we have Cancer twice. We also have Aquarius here. Um, you, do, you are going to have a sudden opportunity that presents itself to you, but you're going to need to master your emotions and let go of the past. And I feel like letting go of the past is a big deal. You may be really, really, really in your emotions. I feel like you have been in your emotions. Queen of Swords reverse right in the middle. Eight of Swords, Queen of Swords reverse, and the Six of Cups reverse. Freedom from obligation, packing up, leaving home. Some of you are dealing with a real bitch. There could be a real bitch that has wrecked havoc on your life. This person has come in as a catalyst for change. This bitch is telling you things and saying things and doing things that you really don't want to hear. Knight of Wands reversed, Page of Cups reversed. One more card, overall. King of Pentacles reversed. I feel like it, let's get what card for an overall, you know, what you don't see coming. I'm just gonna look on the bottom. Ten of Swords reversed. This is freedom, liberation, breaking free. This is uh, the end of things. I feel like Things have gotten worse. I feel like you have been in a situation where you have reached rock bottom. I mean, this is rock bottom. This is totally breaking free. 
This is the worst that has happened. Okay, it's, this is the. This is also uh, you uh, beyond help. This is beyond help. There's no going back. It's completely, completely, completely over. Somebody has completely, completely, completely betrayed you. Um, it's over. It's done. There's no going back. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Um, but it's a blessing. It is a blessing because I feel like you are about to embark on a new journey with that Ace of Wands. That is exciting. It's an exciting, new, fruitful opportunity. Um, freedom from obligation, being removed from responsibilities. Um, there is a feminine, a, a female here that has caused you some problems, that has said some things that you really don't want to hear. This person um, has seen your restrictions, the restrictions, the Eight of Swords, that's restrictions, it's confinement. This person is trying to help you break free and, and I feel like it's harsh. It's very, very harsh. Eight of Swords, Queen of Swords, Reverse, Six of Cups, trying to help you break free from clinging to the past. There is somebody here that is delivering you some bad news. Page of Cups reverse. Page of Cups reverse is not good news. It's unwelcome news. Unrequited love. Shattered dreams. This is this is this is shattered dreams. I feel like there's another woman here, or there's a it could even be another man that has entered. You know, and maybe and maybe, you know, there's denial. There's denial. It's like because in the Eight of Swords, it's like I'm I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I don't want to see it. I, I'm going to pretend that everything is okay. I feel like there's some reckless behavior here. Knight of Wands reversed. You're dealing with somebody that is very attention seeking, that needs constant attention. This person is a show off. They are boastful. They have no intentions of sticking around. It's not a loveless, I mean, it's not a love situation. Page of Cups reversed next to the Knight of Wands reversed. Okay, this is somebody that, is, this is not love, okay? It may be sex, but that's about it. And some of you may be in complete denial. You don't want to hear the truth. It's like, nope, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. You know, this he's, he's, he's coming back to me. He or she's coming back to me. That's not true. Yes, it's true. I don't, you know, I feel like a lot of you need to master your emotions. You need to be honest with yourself. Queen of Swords reverse, not being honest, not being honest, not owning up to the truth. You know, I feel like I feel like there is somebody here that um, is not being very practical. Uh, I think that you are dealing with an individual that is not really interested in uh, anything but money. Okay, King of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody that's not interested. All they care about is money. They do things illegally. All they care. They're very selfish, very materialistic, very very greedy. Um, doesn't have a very good heart. This person, um, maybe just looking for sex, you know, maybe have, you know, sex hit and run kind of situation. There's somebody here that, uh, may even have a same sex relationship. You know, they, they have sex with whoever they can possibly have sex with. As long as they're getting their needs met, they're not really looking for a relationship. They're really focused on their business. They're focused on their money. They're not focused on love. You know, they're focused on, you know, their stability, but not really a relationship. Anyhow, I feel like this week, I feel like uh, you. this is a breaking point. It is totally, totally, totally a breaking point. I feel like there's packing up and leaving or there's, or if, if that's not it, it's, it's well, the Six of Cups reverse clinging to the past. Clinging to the past, clinging to the memories of the past. There's somebody here that does not have good intentions, that is emotionally unavailable, that is, is totally in a state of illusion, that is refusing to see the truth, wearing that blindfold, holding on for dear life to something that has already ended. And I feel like there is a woman here that is delivering some very harsh information. The Queen of Swords reverse. She's very unforgiving, right? She's a very unforgiving. She's she's unyielding. You know, it's harsh. It's very harsh. And it may have to do with a one night stand, 
or a sexual encounter, you know, with the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Swords reverse, and the Ace of Wands. There could be a, you know, a sexual encounter here that gets revealed. Page of Cups reverse is not good news. It's not. This is, this is, you're dealing with somebody that doesn't care. They don't care. They don't care. It's, 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 they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. Somebody that is highly, highly competitive and needs constant, constant, constant attention. Knight of Wands reverse. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <coughs> we have everybody. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're dealing with somebody that is very, very cunning. They are very clever. They, they have some sort of uh, money. You know, they have some sort of financial stability. And they focus on that more than they focus on love. And they, I feel like they're having sex with somebody else. And it's like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to believe it. I'm in disbelief over the whole situation. Some of you, I feel like, are hoping for this past person to come back around. You know, you're, and it's not realistic. It's not practical at all. Knight of Pentacles reverse. That's not practical. I feel like there's been some disloyalty here, like that unfaithful card that we saw that fell off, that it just fell off the top of the deck. I wasn't planning on taking it. You know, there's been some sort of unfaithfulness, and it needs to be accepted. It needs to be... Uh, it needs to be the driving force that moves you in a new direction. When somebody be, is unfaithful, you need to know your value and move on from that situation. And I feel like we have somebody here that is watching this that really, really, really does not know their value. They're in an illusionary state of mind. We get the Queen of Cups reversed, mirroring the King of Pentacles reversed. Totally, totally ungrounded. Totally, totally unrealistic. Do you really want somebody that's unfaithful? Do you really want somebody that doesn't want a commitment? Do you really want somebody that is sleeps around, that has sex with whoever they feel like having sex with at any given moment? It's like sex on the run. And maybe that's your energy. Could be either or. So if you're the cross watcher, it could be either or. There's definitely a strong sexual energy about this because we have the Ace of Wands, which, and I'd say it's twice, and the Knight of Wands. It's very sexual. It is. And then it's time to set new goals. It is time to set new goals. It really is. It's time to, you know, and for some of you, that's not you. For some of you, that's new. You're dealing with somebody that is highly sexual and you know, hits and runs. Whoever you're dealing with, with the hey man reverse, is not going to change. They're not going to change. That's who they are. Hey man reverse, refusing to change, I, is never going to change. And you're restricting yourself to this person that's never going to change? That's not very practical. It's not very intelligent. No offense. Every, nothing stays the same. Six of Cups reversed. I feel like we have somebody here that made a poor judgment call. They may, they may have even had sex with somebody on the fly and now they're heartbroken because whoever they had sex with on the fly, it didn't work out. There's definitely emotional upset here. Star card. Let's, let's clarify. Let's clarify your person. Consider this a blessing. There's protection here. And there is rejection. 
Page of Cups reverse is rejection. So isn't the King of Pentacles. Rejection is protection. And I feel like you, you know you don't want to hear it and just call me the bitch, okay? Let's talk about your person. How do they feel? Strength reversed. Two of Swords reversed. Nine of Swords reversed. And the Seven of Pentacles. This person, whoever we're talking about, is a coward. This person needs constant attention. They are extremely, uh, they don't have good intentions. They're controlling. This person uh, is defensive. They're always on guard. They block their emotions. They're not willing to open up their heart. This person is a scared little kitty. Scared, so they need constant attention. This person is a coward. They have no regrets. They have no regrets for who they are. This person uh, doesn't even see their wrongdoings. They have a blindfold on as well. They just continue to block their emotions and feed their ego. Strength reverse. This person has a humongous ego, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Could be dealing with a Leo as well. But you have every sign here. My guess is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's what we have the most, I, I would say, is that we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But we also, we have everybody. So we do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and... Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but I'd say that we mostly have water here. Strength reversed. Strength reversed is, is a coward. Whoever you're dealing with lies. They lie. They lie. They, they, they get away with their lying. This person is extremely cunning. They play in their attack. They are very skilled at communicating. They have no remorse for what they do. None. They're in complete denial of their... This is a narcissist. you got a narcissist. I know that you do. They love the challenge. Whoever you're dealing with loves the challenge of gaining control over others. Seven of Wands and the Strength card reversed. That's challenge. They thrive. This person thrives in being in that position and having all the admirers that they have. And this person is very, very secretive, whoever it is that you're dealing with. You may not even know that they have all the admirers that they have. Like I said, this reading could go vice versa. But there is somebody here that is very, very skilled at hiding, okay? They hide their emotions. They are uh, totally remorseless they have no remorse for their wrongdoings none because right now their ego is being fed and they thrive on competition this is somebody that is highly 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 competitive whoever it is that you're dealing with so I do believe that this week you may be receiving some news that you don't want to hear from some bitch um, about a relationship that you have been hanging on to that is not healthy okay it's really not realistic it's not practical you need to ground yourself you need to you need to continue to heal because the star card is a card of healing you need to continue to uh, have hope for the future this is a blessing that this did not work out because whoever you're dealing with is extremely disrespectful of others extremely they have no respect for others it's time for you to set new goals and go in a new direction good luck